came to hip hop in 1998 um, through b-boy when I first saw, to be quite frank and honest, when I first saw the music video, um, I ran DMC versus a party member, but the song's name was It's Like That. So I wanted to dance, um, and then after that, I saw Black Noise. Um, they came to do a workshop here in Pontyville, showed us how to do the six step, and I was, I was grabbed, I was hooked. And, um, all the way it changed my mind, it, it like totally hooked me, uh, made me th see things in a better light, uh, like the discipline when it comes to hip hop, um, practicing a move and getting it right. And it also kept me off the street because I had to make a choice at the time, am I going to be a gangster or am I going to do something positive with my life. Now I didn't know that b boy would take me so far. But it, it opened a lot of doors for me. Um, yeah, I met a lot of hip hop cats and I saw a lot in the culture or more in the culture, experienced a lot of things in the culture. Um, like today, I miss what I miss. They call it the classics party today. Today, what I miss is the jam. We, I used to be, we used to be a clique um, and we were naughty. Like Friday nights, there used to be a jam. I was still on school. And we used to tell my parents we go into a competition but we we didn't go to a competition and we normally used to take the last taxi out of Bontyville to Cape Town then we walked to the Valley Street to go to go to the jam I think you would remember to go to the jam and there we met other b-boys and we shared information and stuff like that or we went to base there we also got information we met guys like Shorty Blitz um, from the Zanian b-boys at the time and um, also Azanian Flames like Jeremy them at the time and that's how I grew fond of b-boying and, and, and it totally hooked me and still keeping me there and um, so this is not uh, um, how can I say this is not what I do but it is a lifestyle for me man. like uh, 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 this is when I get up in the morning I wake up in the morning that's b-boying uh, when I think of something it's b-boying so it's a lifestyle to me. Um, Brass for the Cup is a group I used to belong to in 2005, 2004. Um, yeah, we traveled with them, Ready D, DJ Azul, um, DJ E20, Garlic Brown. So yeah, it was a fun time in my life, very exciting. Also a group, they do Afrikaans uh, when they rap. Um, they straight to the core and they stick to what they say and um, very positive guys and yeah that's Prasavanika Pidika and they're still in existence today Mr. Fat is no longer there may he rest in peace but um, he's been a great very great contribution he's made some very great contributions to hip hop and um, also to the existence of hip hop the reason I chose hip hop it gave me a voice um, it made me see things that was going on in our country, in our communities. It made me wise. Um, it showed me how to make decisions in life, which is wrong and which is right. Um, and today I can vouch for it because I learned a lot through hip hop. And that is basically one of the reasons why I chose hip hop. And that I still do hip hop today.